Good morning. It is Friday, April 29th. Something exciting is happening. Heading to Peru. It's kind of a weird trip to pack for. So they're heading into fall where we're heading into like summer here. We fly into Lima, which is coastal. But then we go up in the mountains. We don't know yeah, what we're doing. Yeah, super high. <laughs> Or like we do. Elevation, 10,000 feet, and we're gonna do like some trekking. We'll and... let you know if it works. Anyway, I'll talk to you later. So we're staying at the Hyatt Centric in San Isidro. We always love staying at the Hyatt's. Um, they usually treat us well, and we have points with them, so we always get free nights. Which is great, is it not? Of course. Makes you feel like a baller. Anyway, room tour. Oh. Yeah, that's what we're doing. We're doing a room tour. This is our couch. Pull out your inner care. Oh, this is nice. Our bed. <laughs> How is it? Comfy. Dude, it's the small touches. Like, this is why we love the Hyatt. We have freaking chocolates on our pillows, which is delightful. Oh, look, TV, nice widescreen. Plenty of storage space for luggage. Drawers if you want to move in. A coffee station. A safe. A fridge. If you want anything, you'll have to order it. Luggage area and closet. More storage with soft closures. Ironing board and an iron. Perfect. The two go very well together. Look, it was doubtful in the last place we stayed. True. <laughs> Not that the flamingo doesn't have its points. As in high points. Carlos. The bathroom. With a sizable shower. Extra amenities below like slippers, and a blow dryer. Perfect. And <gasps> robes. Awesome. So how lucky are Man, we? Man, why are we only staying one night? Because we have things to do. The commode. For toiletry needs. Although, in most South America, it's not common to put your toilet paper down the toilet. You put it in the trash can next to it. At least that's what they told us at the airport. Did they call us at the airport? There were signs all over the place. Did you not read? <laughs> I'm not aware. So anyway, that's the room. We are now going to... What are we going to do? We should shower and clean up and then assess shower. how much energy we have. Whether we want to go hit the town or take a nap. After cleaning up, we were starving, so we ordered an Uber and headed to San Martin Market, which is kind of like a food court, but one your mom would approve. What you gonna try? Close. A little too close. <laughs> <laughs> um, this drink. But What's it called? Like wine, but I don't know what it's called. It's like purple rice. What's it called? It's made of purple corn. Oh, it's made of purple corn. <laughs> I, think, I think it was chichimarron. Chichimarron. Purple corn juice. How would you describe it to someone that's never tasted it before? Sweet, but not overly sweet. Cheers! Chichamaro! It tastes very similar to something. 
I don't know what that something is. It's almost got like a wassail, like Christmassy flavor. I feel like, like but cold and refreshing. It's like clove or cinnamon or something. I'm not sure what it is. I like it. So what's on your arepa? Allow me. It's an arepa pelua, which is a sandwich piled high with juicy, tender beef and cheese. Sounds delightful. Yes, I had to read that <laughs> off of Google. Oh, that looks good. Ring-a-ding-ding! -ding. Did I see a smile? It's really delightful. Yeah? Yeah. Sweet. I'm excited. Really Dude, it looks really good from here. <laughs> it tastes really good. Give it a try. I like the texture of the cornmeal. Yeah? And the cheese with the salty beef. It's delish. So I ordered from a restaurant called Lucumal, and it's Peruvian food. Um, I don't know if it's all from the Amazon, but um, this is called Chaufa Amazonico. Um, it's surrounded by fried plantains that kind of make the structure of it. And then it's just loaded with fried rice. Um, and I don't know if this is just like a, a sausage here underneath, or if it's like hot, it looks more like a sausage than like a hot dog. Um, so, like roasted peppers, I think, inside? I'm not exactly sure, but it looks good. And then there's a fried egg on top. So, I'm excited. It's not like, it's not like orgasmically good, but it's good. I like yours better. What did you think of the, the food place? It was really cool. Um, so we kind of got the idea to go there from... Samuel Sam? and Audrey, YouTuber <laughs> travel couple. You were really interested in it at first. And I was just, I was like, yeah, why not? Something to do. But I wasn't like, yes, we have to go there. Right. Um, I loved what I ordered. <laughs> it was really good. I think you ordered better. What are your thoughts? Um, I liked it. Um, my first few bites of it, so we watched the that couple we mentioned, and he took his first few bites and he was like, whoa, that's just amazing. And so I was expecting it to be like, just blow me away. And it was good, but it wasn't that good. And I felt myself trying to like fake it a little bit for the camera, but then I was finally like, don't fake it. Just be like, it's good, but it's not anything amazing. You were expecting to have the experience that I had in that I was like, whoa, that was the lit. <laughs> right. Um, but it was definitely unique. Like, I've never eaten anything like it. it fried rice with a bunch of plantains. Do you want to sit for a little bit? It's this cute little bench to sit on. And we can chat a little bit more. Because walking and talking is hard. It's true. You all make Even, it look so easy. I had some thoughts when I was at that food place. And, um... Let's hear them. They were actually while I was peeing in the urinal in the men's room because that's where they keep all the urinals these days. That's a funny um, tale. So this is the first time that Kendra and I have been to a new country since 2018. That's true, we've done a lot of repeats. Yeah, we went to Italy in 2019 and although it was the first time that we went to Italy, it's not the first time that we had been there. Just because, Italy on its own. Yeah, we've like hopped in and out of the country a few times. Yeah, and then 2020, obviously, we just did some domestic travel where we could. And then 2021, it opened back up a little bit, and so it, we had to just think quick, and so we went to Italy because we knew that we liked it, and we knew things that we could do. It wouldn't take a whole lot of planning. We could just go when we could go. 
we decided to take this trip to Peru because of the kinging at Trova trip. Um, but we really, I mean, we talked a little bit about South America. I spent a couple years living here when I was 19. And so, like, I just didn't really think much of, like, preparing, like, culturally and language-wise. <laughs> and it kind of hit me at this place, at that food market, that this isn't Europe. Like, people don't speak English, and I don't speak Spanish. Like, I learned Portuguese when I was in Brazil. I studied Spanish in high school and college. Technically, I'm supposed to be able to speak it. But that was a lot of years ago. I don't remember much. Right. Um, once in a while, he'll say a word that's close to something in Spanish. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's what that means. Yeah. <laughs> or that's that word. But the recall, shite. Well, and I think that's really the only thing that's my saving grace here is that I've learned Portuguese. And it's really similar to Spanish. It's different enough that I'm not confident speaking it. But if the people that are speaking to us slow down a little bit, I can usually understand what is said. I just won't be able to repeat it back. Um, so anyway, working on the Duolingo a little bit as we go, <laughs> and, and we'll see what we can do. But I'm super impressed with Lima so far. Like, I'm just super excited to be in a new country. Like, I'm, I'm excited about it, but it, it kind of didn't really hit me, like the whole cultural thing until we were ready to go. And like one, I don't know if we're supposed to tip. Two, I don't know if we're supposed to clean up after ourselves. And so I'm just kind of like looking around, seeing what other people do. Super excited to be here and like, it's beautiful. Um, now we're gonna go check out a park that's right by the ocean. And I just heard some Snoop Dogg start playing. Which is why he started yeah. playing in his head. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not. Maybe as it gets closer. Yeah. But anyway, we're gonna go check out Lover's Park. Unless you got anything else to say. With my lover. We came back here because there is a bar here that is eerily close to my name. It That's is true. the Kenda nah. Bar. I had to look because I really want to call it the Kenda Bar. <laughs> but all of their drinks are named like the Kenda Cool and the Kenda Passion. Yeah. So I ordered a Kenda Mule because I like mules. What did you order? I ordered the um, maracuya sour, which is passion fruit sour. He fell in love with passion fruit the last time he was in South America. Yep. And has been a fan pretty much ever since. Yeah, they have it in Brazil, and I drank passion fruit juice a lot there. They also make like pudding out of it that's really delicious. Um, and I haven't been able to find it much in the States. Okay, give them a try. Mm. Passion fruit and they're strong. It's really good. Yeah. How's yours? It's very different. Okay. Like, there's a jasmine flower, I think, is what the menu said. It changes the flavor for sure. Try it. Flower of jasmine. Lemon. It does change the flavor. It's, it's still got the. It's got a few different ingredients. But... It's still got that gingery kick, but yeah, it's different. And also, I think the sour. I think the base liquor is pisco. Yep, it's pisco. Pisco quebranta, which I think means broken. We have to Google. I don't know. 
We are going to just enjoy the vibe here, enjoy our drinks. We're not going to have any more than one because it's our first night in a foreign country in a city that we've never been to. And I don't want to get taken advantage of. Although, I like the vibe so far. Yeah, I do too. Like, we, uh, that park that we went to, beautiful. Class act, dude. Like, the, the, the coastline is just so unique. Yeah, the way the, the cliffs go down and, like, the cliffs look like they're just humongous anthills. Um, and it's just these big cliffs that go down into the ocean, and then we're, like the city sits on top of it. And so there's this park, it's called Lover's Park. Well, you saw it. You saw the footage. So, um, yeah. We'll get better at this one day. <laughs> but I'm digging it, so cheers to Lima. Adios. Okay. And then we're gonna walk up this ramp and then go over the bridge of sides. Where we can see if our love will last. Make a wish. But either way, if you take a breath before getting across, this relationship has failed according to legend.